Hola gente, ¿qué tal? Aquí estamos con otro video de Sherlock Holmes Awaken. En este caso vamos a resolver el misterio de los otros dioses. Una misión secundaria de los DLC. Así que tenemos que comenzar la misión principal. Aquí. En Nueva Orleans. Tenemos que comenzar las misiones principales eh, porque si venimos de primera acá no nos deja, no nos habilita este, este personaje. Vamos a venir hasta acá y ahí comenzaremos el, el caso. Así que vamos a hablar con él. ¿Estás bien, right, señor? Va a volver otra vez. Lo voy a morir. ¿Qué ha pasado? La Lower of Death vino a mí la noche pasada. Sé que va a volver otra vez. Vamos a empezar desde el principio. Mi nombre es Sherlock Holmes. ¿Puedes describir las noches pasadas para mí? Eh. Uh, I'm called Seabrook. It was my mom, Brigitte. She came to me in the shape of a giant black rooster. Before that, some hit the wall outside. Then she came in. She took my will and she led me to the water. Perhaps you were dreaming? I wish I was. The great gator was there. It called me and I couldn't resist. But then the spell broke and I managed to crawl ashore. Interesting. I know how it sounds to an outsider. But it was the lower of death, and it ain't finished with me. You mentioned a lower. What is that exactly? You outsiders only know one god. But there are many, and we call them lowers. And Mamon Brigitte is one of them. She is the lower of death and life. She heals the righteous and punishes the guilty. Did you feel anything apart from fear last night? Yeah. The signs of Mamon's presence, no doubt about it. Everything became blurry, and my mouth was dry, and and the light became very bright. That is something. Vamos a there are too many imprints here. It's hard to say where he did or didn't go. We have a feathered friend in the case. The poor bird crashed against Cole's house. Damage is recent. More boot prints here. Lo. Ya no estaría acá. Vamos. Feather, not black, however. Did you really expect to find a feather of rock here? Nope. I. <clears throat> he dropped a cup here. Supper leftovers. It's not a simple tea, a herbal concoction, rather. That tea seems not to be very popular here. Nissan, ni popular Nissan. Some chewing tobacco leaves. Cheap and strong brew. Judging by the facial features, Cole and one of his relatives. With William in Shreveport, 1879. It smells sweet. This one is almost odorless. Interesting. I will take it just in case. I would love to learn more about these. Mezclaron por proporciones idénticas, vara de oro, hojas de fresa, flores de jazmín. The healing properties of some herbs are truly amazing, Holmes. And some are extremely cold ground herbs here.
having dinner. He was alone. The herbal decoction started to affect him. He became dizzy and dropped the cup. Hallucinations and stimulation brought him outside. He could have drowned if not for the sobering effects of the cold water. Are you a good fisherman, Cole? I wouldn't say so, sir. Sir? Cole, I am sure that you were alone last night. The Lowers were not with you. Well, what else could you say? I didn't say that I disbelieve you. I'm wondering about this recipe. It's just herbal tea. I went to Mr. Sam D and he gave me the recipe to help calm my heart. Is he a doctor? He is a voodooist. It was risky, but all I wanted was some sleep. Where can I find him? On the side of the church at one of the entrances to the fisherman's quarter. Look for a Veve sign, but watch what you see. He has the power of voodoo. I'll be careful. Sir? Your boat is wrecked. What happened? Well, I stumbled over a cypress root. You'd need some force to cause that damage. Yeah, and to be really down on your luck. I must ask you, did you have a drink last night? No, sir, I didn't take a sip. It all happened before I went to bed, and I only drink to fall asleep. That's just how it is lately. Bueno. Ahora vamos a ir a buscar al... Al budo. Creo que es por acá. No. Por allá. Aquí. Estimado señor Hall, sabía que en el momento que oyera hablar de Voodoo, se volvería escéptico de inmediato. Este mundo no es lo que parece. Me resulta extraño que su trayecto aún muestra incredulidad. Siento no poder estar ahí cuando venga a buscarme. Me encantaría poder abrirle los ojos. Supongo que querría preguntarme por la receta que encontró en casa de Cole. Al saber de su tragedia, le dije que hiciera una infusión con esas hierbas. Los efectos de la infusión son el consuelo y el aplacamiento de los nervios. Si no me cree, lea este libro. En él se encuentran las respuestas que busca. Que los espíritus le acompañen, señor Juan. Samer. Posdata. Cuando haya lo que busca, por favor, devuelva el tomo. Hay libros que tienen el poder de orar mal si caen en las manos equivocadas así que acá tenemos que venir los tarritos y darle el triángulo para buscar en los archivos flores amarillas con 5 Una planta que altera las hojas en punta elíptica. Este es el único especie que tiene flores amarillas. Amarillo. No, te fui a ver. Paniculada, sí. No, no está aquí que se va. Ay, peciolo. Planta herbácea perenne de la familia de las. Eh. La vara de oro tiene un efecto diurético importante y se usa para la indigestión y la reuma. Y tiene propiedades antiinflamatorias generales. Vamos por el otro. Monejos trifoliados. Ojos y flores. 
4 y 6 centímetros de diámetro. Acá. Ahí sí, trifoliado acá. Y agrio. Así que aquí. Las hojas de la fresa son un remedio efectivo para mejorar el apetito y normalizar los procesos digestivos. Los tres infusiones hechos con hojas de fresa tienen un efecto positivo en el corazón, ayudando a reducir la presión arterial. Tiene un efecto analgésico moderado. Y vamos por la última. Varias flores blancas. Acá. Blanco y trompeta. No. No. No, entonces no está claro acá. No, era el olor. Aroma dulce, claro. Allá. <coughs> el estramoño, también conocido como la trampa del diablo, es una planta venenosa potente. En caso de intoxicación, el estramoño causa saque, se queda en la boca. Trastornos de habla y al tragar pupilas dilatadas, visión de cerca alterada, temor a la luz, delirios, alucinaciones y agitación. El envenenamiento, el envenenamiento grave se caracteriza por pérdida de orientación y una excitación mental aguda. Bien. Ahí dejamos el libro. No vamos a robar el libro. Que preguntarle <coughs> Sir Cole, where are these herbs from? I bought them from Zora. Her stall is at the market near the port. Zora. Tengo que ir a ver a Zora. Allá. Oh, no two ways about it. Zora. Vamos acá. Zoro will kill her. Did you see how she rushed there? Fearsome woman. Yeah, I'm afraid for them Chinese and for anyone who misses them. Are you able to help me? I'm bone tired. But yeah, I'll help you. Solo fue al mercado del barrio chino, al parecer, para ensayarse con otro comerciante de hierbas. De allí, solo es célebre por su temperamento bronquista, aunque lleva unos días especialmente agresivos. Así que, nos vamos al barrio chino. Y aquí está Zora. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have several questions, if you don't mind. You are selling herbs, is that right? Do you want to buy something? Not really. I wanted to ask if you have the herbs from this list. Goldenrod, jasmine, strawberry. These are very common. I do sell them same as any other herb merchant. I came here because Cole Seabrook mentioned you. Do you know him? Unfortunately, yeah. He's my late husband's brother. Have you heard of Jimson weed? A poisonous plant, but it can help ease the pain if you know how to use it. Some believe you can use it to create a zombie, a willless slave. Is that what you wanted for Cole? Or did you sell it accidentally? Did Cole get what he deserved? <laughs> the lowers heard my prayers. So you admit it was on purpose? I admit there's a higher power maintaining order and justice in this world, and Cole got what he deserved. I'm happy that it happened, but that doesn't mean I'm to blame. Can I ask what caused such hatred? 
The sheriff confiscated all our weapons, and then the disappearance began. William wanted one raffle, just one to protect us. Cole was too eager to help, and as a result, my Will got a bullet in his chest. How did Cole explain what took place? He just walked away as if nothing happened. Cole is the reason I lost my husband, and he should pay for it. Don't you want to know what really happened? For me, it's clear. An innocent man would tell everything. Only the guilty remain silent. Así que volvemos al barrio de los pescadores. Sir, I've learned about your tragedy, Cole. My condolences. <coughs> Zora told you, didn't she? You tell me what happened and why you feel guilty. My brother died. I'm alive, and William is not. That's why. Tell me, what was the plan? William had to get into the warehouse through the eastern gate, the one not far from the market on the edge of the railroad. I hid behind the barrels. I was on the lookout. So what went wrong? William went in, then came back with a rifle. I saw him jump off the crate and then bang! He was lying there dead. Did you see who shot him? It was the bloody sheriff. I swear I saw him smiling. What happened next? My heart stopped. I froze. Then the sheriff yelled, see if there are more rats. And I woke up. I ran away. I had just one task and I failed it. And for my mistake, the lower of death will come for me. Pobre tipo. Vamos a ir a investigar esa zona. Para ver qué es lo que realmente pasó. The warehouse Eastern Gate. According to Cole, it all started somewhere near the barrels. Los barriles están acá. Chewed tobacco. That's the spot. I hid behind the barrels. I was on the lookout. ¿Qué es que se puede? An oily handprint. The substance has solidified. I assume that this is cosmoline with which the gun was lubricated. William went in, then came back with a rifle. William was shot here. I saw him jump off the crane and then bang! He was lying there dead. The bullet went through him, and based on its velocity and mass, I would say the shooter was no more than 35 or 40 feet away. The sheriff stood here. Cole had no chance to spot him approaching. It's a terrible choice of position, and it cost his brother his life. Then the sheriff yelled, see if there are more rats. And I woke up. And what did Cole do? My heart stopped. I froze. Cole sought safety in flight. Now I see why Cole thinks he deserved it. He simply left his brother behind. He did not have much of an option. Sad. I think Zora would like to know about this. Sí. Así que volvemos con Zora. Okay. 
What do you want? <coughs> I know you are angry at Cole, but you must know that he is not guilty of your husband's death. I was at the warehouse and I saw it all myself. The sheriff shot William and Cole couldn't prevent it, not even at the cost of his life. Why did Cole survive then? And how did he return unwounded? He had no chance of stopping the sheriff, but he found himself unnoticed. All he could do was run or die. That jackal sheriff. Perhaps you're right. I didn't want to kill Cole. It's just too painful to know that he's still around while my will's dead. You can mourn with Cole. Forgive him if you can. I'll need some time for that. Well, we aim for our own. Sir? I have good news. No lowers are coming for you. You were poisoned. What? Zora sold you Jimson weed instead of Jasmine. That was the cause of your hallucination. She wanted revenge. It, it doesn't change anything. Look, the lowers were guiding her. I deserved it. I went to the warehouse and I know what happened. You are not guilty of William's death. You had no chance of stopping the sheriff. Your only choice was to run or die. That was my purpose as a brother. But I failed William. I'm a coward. I ruined two lives in one evening, including Zora's. I spoke with Zora, and she forgives you. Now is the time to forgive yourself. You... I... Thank you, sir. I'll try. Caso completado. Y aquí termina el caso de los otros dioses. Bueno gente, si les gustó el video, suscríbanse, denle like. Y bueno, nos vemos en el próximo caso.